Far Eastern department stores came out with stellar results at its shareholders meeting on Tuesday. The company achieved earnings per share of 1.95 NT last year and will issue a cash dividend of 1.6 NT per share. Top executives addressed issues including AI, the labor shortage and upcoming consultations expected to raise the minimum wage by at least 3.8%. Far Eastern Department Stores held its annual shareholders meeting on Tuesday. Far Eastern Group Chair Douglas Xu and his sister Nancy Xu took questions, addressing the labor shortage and next week's deliberations over the minimum wage. Douglas Xu gave his perspective. Labor shortages are a global trend. The question is how we make up the shortfall. From where I'm standing, I can offer something nice. The higher the wage, the better. But you have to be able to afford it. The most important thing is productivity. The real question is, can your production levels support your wage levels? Shaking off the pandemic, Far Eastern department stores posted earnings per share of 1.95 NT last year and will issue a cash dividend of 1.6 NT per share. Amid the AI boom, the firm announced plans to adopt the latest technology to enhance everyday experiences. AI, AI is incredibly challenging to tell the truth. It will take a great deal of effort to do AI. Taiwan's AI industry is at the vanguard of the world. With TSMC building plants in Tainan, Kaohsiung and Jiayi, Far Eastern Department Stores was asked about its own potential expansion. Actually, we already have stores in all three of those locations, but they're not large. Perhaps after TSMC completes its projects and the labor market and the overall market improves in the South, we will expand our presence there. Having planted its flag at Taipei Dome, Far Eastern Group is taking aim at 50 billion NT in revenue to challenge Shinku Mitsukoshi for market dominance.